Good evening, you're watching London Live News at 6. I'm Sarah Firth. Coming up on tonight's show. We start by bringing you some breaking news this evening. One person has been arrested after a car crashes into Downing Street gates. Wayne, I want to pull you up on this. At Heathrow Airport say the majority of workers do want a vote on pay, but it's Unite, it's you guys who will not let them. You spoke there, this 10% offer that Heathrow Airport has made, inflation matching pay increase for two, in, uh, two years and a lump sum. W what do you have to say to that? Why did you reject that? Well, our members have made it quite clear to the company that they're not interested in a lump sum payment. Your dispute is with Heathrow Airport over paying conditions, but it's passengers paying the price, isn't it, in this scenario? Well, unfortunately, it's passengers paying the price for Heathrow Airport's refusal to move. And again, the, the Metropolitan Police themselves have given out these huge numbers, you know, saying five to six hundred times a month in London alone, mm. they're being called out and having to spend this huge amount of time uh, with the patients that they're called out to deal with. Well, responding to the question, Cabinet Office Minister Jeremy Quinn said the Prime Minister is currently gathering information. A touching moment today as hundreds of people turned out for the funeral of World War II RAF Airman Flight Sergeant Peter Brown from London. Moving on to our final story of the day, some crows in Gospel Oak have been ruffling some feathers. You have no idea <laughs> how happy I am with that pun. <laughs> yeah, you really should have, wrote, you should have written a headline on this. It's better than the one that the Camden New Journal's got. You know, it's Foster Care Awareness Fortnight. Um, how has it changed your life? What has it brought you and why would you recommend it? Why would you encourage other people to get into fostering? We're going to a short break now, but stay with us because still ahead on tonight's show. On some other stories now and in sports news, Brentford striker Ivan Tony has been given a reduced ban from football due to a gambling addiction diagnosis. Welcome back to the final part of tonight's London Live News. And now for some comedy. I always just assume that's the like hard and heavy stuff to delve into. How do you make that comedic? How, how, yeah, how do you turn big moments in your life and dreams dashed and yeah. paths not taken into well, comedy material? I think it, it is... I don't think I've had enough uh, pain and suffering to, to, to really pour it out. So I think that's that's fortunate thing number one. Let's give you an update on the weather this evening before we leave you. Cloud will continue through into the night with lows of around 11 degrees. Mostly dry, although with the possibility moving into Friday of outbreaks of rain. Well, that's all from me and the London Live team here this evening. You can find more stories and entertainment news on our website or our social media channels. But for now, thank you for joining us. Have a lovely evening. <laughs>